Big Sip Beer Review has just told me it's beer o'clock. So, it's time for another beer review. This time, ABK and it's Edel, a 700 year brewery. Surely they know what they're doing, don't they? Let's find out, shall we? Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing another beer from the Beer 52 Awards box. This is an Edel and it's by ABK, a brewery based in Germany and they've been going for 700 years. This is a 5.8% um, and I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. I think it's a, it's obviously a Pilsner or a Lager. Um, you know, obviously from that sort of neck of the woods it's going to be a traditional sort of Pilsner I would have thought. So this has won the award, ABK has won the award, not for the oldest brewery in the world, but they probably are, um, at 700 years old, but also but for their best lager for their Hell Das. Now, you know, if you're a German brewer, you're going to be, you're going to, you know, if you're going to win an award, it's probably going to be for lager. So I'm not sure what this one's like, but let's get it out of the bowl and into a glass. I'm trying to find my... Uh, Beer thing. Yeah, as I said in the introduction, big shout out to uh, Big Sip Beer Review. Uh, he's got a great channel. Um, guy from South Wales. Uh, he just I just watched one of his videos, and to be honest, it made me that thirsty. I thought I've got to do another video so, so I can drink a beer. Uh, and he said, "Go ahead, mate. It's beer o'clock." So, ABK, let's get this beer out of the bottle and into a glass. Okay. Beer in a glass, a pretty light, pretty um, highly carbonated, you know, looks like a lager. It's pretty clear, you can see right through that, lots of bubbles. You know, a white finger, a white finger, or what a two finger white head. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good, pretty light and clear. I reckon it's gonna be a nice, refreshing, crisp lager. Let's get some aromas. Yeah, I mean, a lager smells pretty much like a lager. Um, so you got that sort of maltiness on there. That little bit of breadiness, crackery sort of uh, aromas. Yeah, nothing too different, not unsimilar to pretty much any other lager that I've drank. So I uh, smell even. Uh, so let's see what it tastes like, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Yeah, that's really, really light. Very refreshing. I mean, it's, uh, the alcohol's 5.8%. But it almost feels like it's um, it's like a low alcohol. It's like three and a half percent or something like that. Yeah, it's got a nice maltiness to it, but no, it's not overpowering. It's very, as I said, it's quite a light lager. Um, yeah, I mean, you can smash these. 5.8% though, it's quite strong. It's quite a premium lager, but it does not taste like one. Um, very, very drinkable, as you can see that I'm already getting through this pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, there's no, not much more to add, really. I mean, it's a, it's a very, very good lager. I mean, this is a sort of beer that you can imagine drinking in the beer halls in Germany. And, and knocking back steins of the stuff, you know. Um, it's a very, very light, easy drinking. I mean, you look at it, look at it there in the in the in the in the camera. It's very, very clear. You know, there's no no sort of impurities or anything like that in there. Goes down really, really well. There's there's not even that little bit. Sometimes with German beer, you can get that bitterness that sort of just creeps in. But this is just a nice, dry, fresh. Those Germans know what they're doing when they're making lager. And this one's no exception. This is a fabulous beer, actually. I'd almost got, you know, I, I've got to admit, since I sort of started on my craft beer journey, I've, I'm, I'm hardly drinking much lager these days. Um, and a lot of the time I drink, when I have had the occasional one, I just think it doesn't have the taste that I want for my, like, drink with my craft beer. But drinking this one, uh, you know, it makes me really love the, you know, lager again. I mean, I think there's some, some really great lagers out there. And a lot of the time, you know, I'm discounting them a lot of time. When I buy new beers from the bottle shops, 
when I go into the supermarkets, I usually just go, no, I'm avoiding the lagers. I want, I want the New England IPAs or the Pale Owls or something like that. But this is a really smashing good lager. So that's Edel from the Beer 52 Awards, 700 year old brewery, damn good. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for the ABK Edel, and it's a lovely, refreshing lager. And spoiler alert, these scores are quite good ones. So first things first, aroma. Now this is probably the one that probably it's probably the the lowest sort of level really because I think it's it's difficult to really rate aromas when you, when it comes to lager because you know they do all have a similar sort of uh, sort of aroma profiles and this one's no different. You know, it has that sort of maltiness has that sort of slightly cracker bready sort of aroma. I mean, it's fairly pleasant. I'm not sure I'm ever gonna sort of review a lager. I think, wow, this smells so absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm giving it a 12 out of 20. I don't wanna rate it down because for the style, you know, it's it's pretty good, 12 out of 20. Um, uh, appearance, well, it's a lovely, it's really light, nice, hardly any sort of, um, you know, it's still the carbonation is still moving up even now. Um, it's very light, very clear. Um, no floaters in it. No sort of murkiness. I think it's a really nice looking looking bit. I mean, it's it hasn't really retained much of its head, so it it loses a few points for that. So I'm giving it an eight out of ten for appearance. Flavor. Now this is a really good lager. I mean, it's. It's up there with the uh, the Audi uh, Pilsner 15, uh, sorry, 15, I can't even remember the name of the project now, 1789, 1871, I can't even remember the number. But you know it, you've seen the review from that I've done for the, Al the Audi Pilsner, which is my favorite uh, lager. This is a pretty damn close um, beer compared to that, actually. It doesn't have the, the sweetness, but it, but it has a really lovely flavour with no bitterness. It is incredible that it's 5.8%. Uh, yeah, 5.8%. It tastes like a 3%, 3.5% lager. It tastes really, really light in the fact that you could smash loads of these, but I think you could probably get into a bit of trouble if you did that. Um, but flavour-wise, for a lager, it's going to rate highly. I'm giving it a 36. It's one of the best lagers I've had for a long time. 36 out of 40 is a good score. Value for money, yeah, I don't know. Would you pay for, I'm paying three quid for one of these bottles of beer um, from the Beer 52. Now, if I was drinking that in a pub and I paid three quid for a bottle, it's not too bad, but a home three quid is a little bit much, I think, even for a lager. So I'm giving it your standard Beer 52, seven out of 10. But overall experience, well, I mean, I've nearly drank it. I wanna drink another, but I don't have another. It is a really good example of a lager. 5.8%, it, it tastes like half that at that level. It's really light, crisp, refreshing, like a good lager should be. But it's got a little bit more, it does have a little element of sweetness, which I, I quite like, that sort of malty sweetness that sort of comes in on the back end. That gives that for me is what I like in a lager. I don't like that end that bitterness. I like a bit of sweetness on the, on my in my lagers on the back end, and that's certainly got it. Just like the Audi one, really good. So overall experience, where I'd like to drink loads of these. I could just imagine sitting in a you know sitting out outside in the summer drinking that in a in a pub in a pint glass. Oh, a pint of it would be great. I'm giving it a 17 out of 20 because I think it's a superb lager and it's a great, you know, it's a, I'd want to drink more of those. Um, so we top those scores up and we're getting the top score so far in beer 52. We have only got one beer left to review. But in terms of this month, this is an 80 out of 100. It's the highest score. It's the best beer in the box. I'm quite surprised. I didn't expect the lager to be, to be the best beer, but it definitely is the best one in my opinion. Scored the highest, 80. Iron Maiden beer. So if you see this beer... Give it a try. Any more from ABK? Again, you know, they're a brewery that have been going for 700 years. They should know what they're doing when it comes to beer, but maybe they try different things. It'd be interesting if they did any IPA, see what they were like. Um, so that's the review for ABK Edel. Until the next one, you know what you've got to do. You've got to keep on rocking.